It's a full tice, a friendly one. I guess hasn't come on as quite as much as some of the others. That's eased away for one only. Oh, that's just out of the reach of the keeper. Got the dive in. Thick enough edge. Just went past that outstretched glove and has gone for four. And so many times we have seen when there's not a slip. Excellent ball there. The keeper went a little uh, later, but you needed a one slip to get, get that catch in. Excellent first delivery. Yeah, good dive. Good attempt by Charlie Tear, the, the keeper. Slicing that away just behind square on the offside and that's gone for four. It's a nice way to sign off that over in the end. Nine from it, two gone, 12 for none. This time a bit too full, outside off. Good quick hands by the batter. Shah Khan opening the face of the bat, finding the gap for four runs. Change of pace. A little bit of variation. High on the bat, tried to pull it, might be a wicket, as a wicket, that's a big one. Thomas, that's the one they really wanted, I reckon. You can see the smiles from the skipper. Celebrations begin out there in the middle from the Raiders. And George Thomas didn't get going this time. Tried to pull it, push it off the back foot. Didn't middle it at all, easy catch for Habibullah. We saw one boundary from his bat, that, was, that too was an edge. It's not been easy so far. George Thomas has to walk back for seven. Mardan, 12 for one. The last wicket of George Thomas. No pace on the ball. Tried to muscle it down. Couldn't connect. Easy catch for the captain, Habibullah. So they do have depth in their batting and it's very important that they do not delay the batters in form. In the last match, they did that. Short ball, a bit of aggression from Amir. And this is how George Thomas got out in the previous game. Tried to pull and couldn't get the pace of the bowler. And it's pretty similar. This time the ball goes in front. The previous match it went to the third, uh, fine fielder. Amir again. Couple of runs there, strained down the leg side. Very good line. Extract some bounce, high arm action. Brink up some dot balls and stop some boundaries. Not to be. Four runs. I think we've seen that shot before today. It was with an offer. The moment he tries to swing it from outside, bring it into the left hander, that's the problem. It gives room to Shazeb Khan to play with. And he times it really well. This time, this is this one is even a better shot than the last one. And that's gone over the top, and that's one bounce, and that screamed away for a boundary. Really good connection that time. So back-to-back -back boundaries is putting great pressure back on Raza. That's good batting, putting pressure onto the bowler. Just three fielders on the leg side. He went full, got hit on the offside this time. Adjusted the length a little too much. A quick swivel and goes for four. And he's picked that up as well, so the runs are coming. Runs are coming quite comfortably. That's a beautiful drop kick. That's gone for six. There was a lot of pressure before these three deliveries on the Mardan Warriors. He faltered with the length and with the line this time. Three fielders on the leg side, full onto the legs. Excellent connection. Run rate is up at uh, almost seven and a half to the over. Spars at that. No great excitement because 16 runs off that over. Four gone, 28 for one. That's over the top. And that's four more. Farouk this time has opened his account. Good, confident looking shot here. It was on the back foot. He exactly knows, knew where the fielders were up and over. Yeah, he's going to feed off uh, Shazay off that last over too. That's uh, a little benefit for the new man at the crease. Good, solid shot. 
Half volley, drilled. And drilled for four. But to no effect, it was too full this time. Outside off, exquisite timing. Good balance, good head position. Everything classy about that shot. Short gets the pull shot out. And he's got that away as well. Terrific batting. 12 of three deliveries. This time he was not fully in control, but there was no one deep pine. Even a half connection means the four runs on offer. Yeah, he's a bit of, of worried, I think, at the last minute of the man at uh, deep square leg. He was shaping to play that shot, but uh, got a little bit of a, a, a topper edge on it. And it Went away safely. But now he's got boring. Thirty runs on the last eleven balls. Now, have a look at uh, these uh, movements from Zabe. Nice and compact, nice and solid. Nothing too excessive. Just a little bit of a shuffle across. more from Farouk it's a bit more of a, a walk across but uh, still effective and importantly at the right time 15 runs off that over five gone 43 for one they are to get back into this game that's a beautiful looking shot wow Tino I know all the field is up on the offside but I just like the way he got through and he got his hands through the ball yeah, if they're going to entertain thoughts of winning this game, they need to get rid of Farouk and Shazeb as quickly as possible. The onslaught has been uh, fantastic up until now. He's got to bowl a tight line. He doesn't get all of this. I think they'll only pick up one for this. It was a strange innings, wasn't it? But the start they were looking for wasn't there. Whether this comes off a pad after wait and see, or whether it will be given wides. They'll run away and keep your eye on the umpire. What's he going to give? Wides. Four wides. So 50 up for the Warriors. This at the moment is their highest power play in this competition. There's still two balls to go. He's just dragged this one down. It's probably because he's trying to bowl the ball as straight as possible because. On the offside, there are no fielders on the boundary. Good power play, good end to the power play for the Warriors. Uh, they get themselves to 54 for one.